All right, so uh, we're going to be talking about two-point perspective here. I'm going to walk you guys through kind of step by step. We're going to start off relatively slow because I want to make sure you guys feel pretty comfortable about the whole ordeal, and then we'll kind of go from there. So I got my patriotic pencil. Um, all right, so if you guys recall, I just have to kind of jog your memories for a second. If we were going to draw in one-point perspective, obviously we'd have our, get this, I know, one point. <laughs> what? Fascinating. Here, I'm going to... Zoom in for a second so you can see exactly what's going on. Focus. All right, so I've got my one point over here. And that one point, if I was drawing in one point perspective, would kind of, everything would kind of spur from there, right? We, you guys all remember this stuff. So all kind of spurs out of there. And then if, it gets, if it's close to me, obviously it's much larger. And as it goes further away, it gets a little bit smaller and closer together. So it kind of gives us the illusion of this going back into space, right? And just like you guys, I'm sure, remember from your one-point perspective way back in Art 1, um, if I want to draw something in one-point perspective, I can kind of think about it as like a Lego piece. Remember all this stuff? It's still in your brain somewhere. Think about it as a Lego piece, like just a square, blocky shape, maybe like a couch, right? And then I take these corners, and I take those back into space. Again, I'm freehanding today. Whenever you do your actual piece, you'll totally have a ruler. And then, of course, you kind of cut it off. And that cutoff goes parallel with its corresponding line. So this line is parallel with this line. This line is parallel with this line. So on and so forth, right? All this stuff you guys already know. And the same thing goes for any kind of cube, right? So I've got one, two, three, all parallel. One, two, three, all parallel. I can keep going. I won't. Um, but you get the idea, right? So this is all stuff you already know. Um, you know that whenever you're in a pinch, if you need to draw like a, just a regular cube and kind of freehand it, you can kind of do like a one, two, three, one, two, three, make them parallel. One, two, three. Or you can go the x-ray vision mode and connect up your lines. Okay. Now this is all stuff you already know, but the fun thing is, this guy right here, he's already two-point perspective. You're doing it already. The idea is basically this. Even though these lines, one, two, three, are parallel, right? Notice that they're going off in this direction. Then we've got these guys here, and they're going off in their own direction. So that leaves the only thing that's not going in a direction are these guys here, and they're perfectly straight up and down. So you use your uh, T-square for these guys, okay? So we've got our, in essence, two-point perspective right here. So say goodbye, one point, you blow. We're moving on to the good stuff. All right. So the good stuff. Okay. So feel free to follow along here. What I'm going to ask you guys to do very quickly is just simply this. Just draw two singular dots on the same line, so like a line segment. God, that's a math term. Oh, God. Math. I promise. Not, not a lot. I promise. No. I'm making this up as I go. Alright, so you've got your line segment, right? Now, in your line segment, just do me a favor and just draw a line straight through the middle here. Again, if it's not straight, I don't care. We're freehanding right now. What this gives us, in essence, is kind of like a, a crosshair, right? Like if you were playing like a first-person shooter game, it's where my little reticle is. But I've got my two little balls on either side here. So, um, so here are my balls. And way to be mature, guys. Um, so what I'm going to do is this, if you would. On this center line, on this center line that I have, go ahead and do like one above the line, one at the line, and one below the line. So remember that this line that we're looking at, this one kind of intersecting everything where my way cool patriotic pencil is, this one right here, this is what we would consider our horizon line or our eye level, right? So in essence, this is where our eyeballs are. And we're either looking up at something, again, seeing underneath of it, we're looking at something, seeing the side of it, or we're looking below and seeing the top of something. This is all stuff from art one. This is all one point perspective. You guys know all this stuff, but I'm just reiterating. So you've got your line above, at, and below. So what you're going to do is this. You've got, let's do the below one first. 
I've got two little points, basically where my line stops. I'm going to take those lines and connect the dots, A to B, A to B. So it's going to look something like this, and I'll get a way cool triangle shape. Like that. Then I'm going to do the exact vice versa here, <laughs> connect this dot to my other dot. Again, A to B, A to B. So now I've got kind of like a cool arrow shape. I don't know, two triangles, a chevron. All right, so now the next thing. What I want to do is I want to figure out how long or how wide do I want my cube. So if I had just, if I was looking at the side of it, is it more of a rectangle shape? Is it more of a cube shape? Where do I cut it off at? So I'm going to say maybe I want mine to be more of a rectangle, like a, like a present, like a box. So maybe this side is short, and maybe this side is really long, and that's okay. You can do yours however you want to do yours. But we need to tell the computer, tell the computer, tell the, your hand, I'm still thinking digital design class, sorry. Tell, the, uh, tell your hand basically where to stop all of this stuff. So what I've ended up with, if you can tell already, like I talked about before, is I've got my one, two, three parallel lines. Now I've got one, two, and I'm missing one. So I'm going to go from this dot all the way over to the edge of this guy right here. So I'm going to connect, and feel free to just draw right over top of stuff. Connect those two up. <laughs> Bless you. Or, yeah. Then I'm going to do the same thing here. You can see, again, parallel, parallel, and I need a third, so I'm going to connect this dot to this dot and crisscross all the way over. And that's it. That's all it is. You've done a cube in two-point perspective. It's pretty simple. Now, because this is below our eye line, of course, we can see the top of this box, and we can see either side of it, but we can't see any other side at any time. Again, it would break physics. What I want you guys to do, take a couple seconds, to the best of your ability, give it a whirl and see if you can figure out how to do the top and the one that's at our eye line. This one's going to be a little tricky, but again, if you remember how to do it in one point, you might be able to figure out how to do it in two point. I'm going to do the same thing, see if I can remember, probably not. Keep on giving it a try until you feel comfortable. <coughs> Feel okay, guys? Does anyone need any more time? I'm happy to give you some more time. Take a couple more seconds. Feel comfortable. If you need to, look at mine here. Got it projected up for you just so you can kind of see what's going on here. But again, notice that I can see the top of the one below me and the bottom of the one above me. It's kind of the old flippy flop. But the one directly at me, because I'm looking directly at it, I can't actually see the top or the bottom. 
So that was a little bit of a uh, trick. Okay, ready? Hello. All right, here we go. So moving forward. Now we're going to make things more complicated because this is just too easy. I know it. That's what my Facebook relationship status is. Um, <laughs> that's, that's a lie. I'm married. But it is complicated. <laughs> All right. So anyway, here we go. Um, so what I'm going to do now, now we're going to start to combine this idea, right? So this is great if I happen to be stacking up very large pizza boxes. <coughs> I'm hungry. But it doesn't really help me when it comes to uh, trying to figure out, you know, what an actual couch would look like in two-point perspective, right? So again, thinking back to one-point perspective, we talked about that whole Lego style, right? The idea that a you know, couch is basically nothing more than a blocked-in letter L. Right? I mean, that would be, and in one point perspective, we'd just bring it back in space and it would be dimensional. But what we're going to do is this we're going to transform this guy er, into two point perspective. So I'll show you how. So, again, start with that line segment. Okay? So you get your line segmento. Kind of looks like a really happy narwhal. A little happy about it all, right? All right, so you get your line segment, right? Again, same thing as before. I'm kind of walking you through step by step. Get that center line. Okay. Now, we're going to say that our couch is not on the same eye level, that, like, the couch is below me. It's, it's beneath me, really. So I'm going to make sure that uh, whenever I choose the center line, again, what would be the equivalent of over here, I'm going to choose that center line below my eye line. So, if you think about this one-point perspective couch, really what it is, if you think about it, one side of it is very smooth and just a big old rectangle, and the other side of it has this weird cut into it, right, that L shape. But again, it's not on both sides. It's not like the couch is like a double couch, although I kind of want to invent that now. Do they make double couches? I want that. I want to make that, I want to make that happen. Um, so, screw that. This, this is our couch that we're going for, right? So what you can think about is, let's just say again, we're going to mimic this one point over here. So this side, again, you don't have to do this, I'm just showing you. This side will be our L, and this side will just kind of be our big square. So I'm going to start with the big square first. Let's be fair, that's the easier one. So I'm going to take my guy back in space. Make that cool triangle. And then I'm just going to cut it off. Where you decide to cut it off at is kind of arbitrary. It's however long you want it to be. Do you want it to be a couch? Do you want it to be like a chair? Do you want it to be a futon? Futon, right? I know, right? I know. You can get a chaise lounge. Whoa. A chaise lounge. You need to go Google that up. It's called comfort in a chair. Yeah. Chaise lounge. Oh, yeah. I, there's a reason. Because America's obese. All right, here we go. So, we've got the flat backside. That guy is good to go. Now, the L. That Damnable L. Here we go. All right, we got this. We got this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this as simplistic as possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start as if it's a nice, flatty surface. Just so that, again, that whole mimicking. What I find, and this is, works for me. If it doesn't work for you, then you do it a different way, and that's all right. There's a thousand and one ways of doing the exact same uh, result. What works for me the best is if I start with something basic and I kind of eat into it. 
right? More of a subtractive way of thinking. If you prefer doing more of an addition or an additive way of doing it, as in you're kind of adding blocks to it, that's fine, do that. I'm gonna go subtractive though. So what I'm gonna do is this. I've got my kind of block, right? What I'm gonna imagine is this L shape right here. I'm gonna kind of draw that L shape so I can do straight up and down, because remember your three options, straight up and down, back to the dot, back to the dot. Those are my only three options, that's it. If it's not one of those, then it's wrong. So this is gonna be straight up and down, which means that to connect it, I have to connect this dot to the edge right here. So what I end up with is like a little US flag and a weird triangle thing. Um, yes, yes. Yeah, these are all, they're all, I mean, technically they're not parallel because they are colliding into this one point dot, but they're the same line in essence, yes. Okay, so I've got my weird little postage stamp corner. Okay, now I'm only really missing two lines, right? What's missing is this whole top corner. It looks weird and like paper thin, so I need to thicken it up. So I noticed that this edge right here, I can connect back to the dot. Now notice, here's the thing, and this will happen a lot, where you say to yourself, okay, I know this has to go somewhere, but where, right? Well, if I connect it to the line, that's not right. If I go straight up and down, that's not right. If I go over here, well, that looks more right. English good, I speak. More right, okay? And if that line looked more right, and I want to cut in and over, I might see a little bit of the seat where I put my buttocks, right? So I'm going to take my little line right here and I'm going to connect this to this guy right across. So in essence, I'll only see this little triangle right there going back to the dot. Okay? So what you end up with, now notice we're not totally done yet, but I'll show you in a second. There's one singular line that we're missing. So I've got the back side of my couch. I've got the front side of my couch with this cool chunky chunk taken out of it. I've got the little keister part of my couch where I put my old bum. That looks great. And I've got the top part of my couch where I, you know, I don't know what, I can do something. But if you notice there's, ah, something missing right there. It goes back to the left. Bingo, bango. Good job, man. So I just find this little edge. I take him back and connect him up. And that is the edge of that. So here's my two-point perspective couch. Now, I still want to go back through and do detail. I still want to round it out, smooth it out, make it actually look like a couch and not like a weird Tetris piece in three dimensions. But... In all intents and purposes, this is a blocked in, three dimensional, two point perspective couch. Right? Pretty fair. Does anyone have any questions with this? I'm happy to help out. Can you pull out the in text? Yes. We're going to in a second. Two point perspective. Yep. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. So, oh God, he had a whole other sheet. All right. I thought we were done. He had covered this side of the paper. All right, here we go. So, now, we're gonna have some funsies. I've got some games for you. And by games, I mean torture. I mean games. Games, games good. Of games of torture. They're f games for me. All right. Thumbs up. All right. Exactly. So here we go, here we go. What I want you guys to do first, if you don't mind, if you don't mind, um, I'm gonna draw something in one point perspective. I'm just going to whip through it real quick and I'm going to draw it up in one point perspective. What I would like you to do is to try and draw it in two point perspective. I'm going to come around and help you guys out. Pretty simple, right? All right. So I'm going to draw it in one point perspective. Here I go. So first I need my one point, of course, duh, right? And I'm going to figure out, okay, here's kind of my way really cool grid. Okay, things that are close to me are big. Things that go away from me get a little bit smaller. So that's kind of my graph going away in space. Okay, so far so good. I want to do, what could I do? I want to do the letter. You mentioned letters. We could do a letter. I want to do the letter E, but I want to do it backwards. So I'm going to block it in here. 
I'm not so good at English. So I'm going to block it in. I want it to be really nice. So I'm going to say, this is my letter E. This is my letter E. This is my letter E. Okay, so there's my two-dimensional letter E. Now I need to make it 3D. Let's see, so that line goes, oops, back to the dot, that's not good. Okay, that goes back, that goes back, this goes back, this, oh, goes back a little bit, and cut it off. So basically this is the back side. Okay, I'm, so far, I'm a pretty good artist, making my art teacher happy. A little bit of shadow in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks like a good one point perspective E. Now, whenever you guys go to do yours, on top of t challenging yourself to do it, understand, look where my horizon line is. Because your two point perspective E should be the exact same thing, just slightly rotated. Okay? You're just showing me the rotation of that E, but it's at the same eye level, the same horizon line. Okay? I'm going to leave it up here. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of practice and give you a whirl. I'm trying to make it happen. Good luck!